Well, good evening, everyone. We got a better crowd tonight. Yeah. Not good. So, uh, thank you all for coming out. We got anybody here for the first time? First time? Anybody? No? Been a long time since Julius and his wife's been here, so thank you all for coming. Yeah. So, uh, we're going to, uh, we'll say the pledge. We got Tommy with us. And we'll do some, and we got some more coming, I think. So, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all. It again. You got the cabin fever, you want to go to town, come on down to the Smith County Jam, Smith County Jam, it's Smith County Jam, it's Smith County Jam every Monday night. Pick and sing just for you. We'll do a little country and bluegrass too. Smith County Jam. It's Smith County Jam. It's Smith County Jam every Monday night. Thank you so much. Good to see y'all all out this evening. I don't know how much you was out, but whatever you had to spend, we appreciate it. We're going to try to do a few songs for you. Hope we'll do something you'll enjoy. Um, we'll just go ahead and start right here. Hit that G again. You look lovelier tonight than I remember. I'm so glad I got to see you once again. I've enjoyed just sitting down and reminiscing. But I've enjoyed as much of this as I can stand There's so much more between us than this table All those years, all those dreams, and all those plans Yes, you know, without me saying I still love you but I've enjoyed as much of this as I can stand. They tell me that you have found a new love. Tell him I said he's a lucky, lucky man. No, I don't think I'll have time to see his picture For I've enjoyed as much of this as I can stand There's so much more between us than this table All those years, all those dreams, and all those plans Yes, you know, without me saying, I still love you. But I've enjoyed as much of this as I can stand. Yes, I've enjoyed as much of this as I can stand. Thank you so much. What do we do next? Let's see, 1949, Wendy. Oh, I wonder if it's raining in the mountains. I wonder how the old town looks today. 
And if the church is there beside the river Could I go back and find where mama lay Does life still go to sleep just after sunset Are the berries still that big on the vine Do the old man sit and talk about the old The way they did in 1949 Oh, 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 I'd like to be Back in the hills of Tennessee Oh, 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 it would be so fine If I could just go back to 1949 chance they might remember a teenage boy so wild and fancy free who always loved guitars and country music if I went back would they remember me I wonder what became of Catherine Aker A girl who broke my heart at 17 I barely can remember what she looked like 30 years ago she was my dream Oh, 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 how I'd like to be Back in the hills of Tennessee It would be so fine If I could just go back to 1949 If I could just go back to 1949 I worked with a fellow for some time at the Toba bus years ago Drove for Trailways Run the Carolinas He said he gave him the oldest bus they had in the shop when he went to work for them and there was one of them at the, the first one that they put a bathroom on and he said that bathroom leaked when they pull in the bus station someone stopped and wait people loaded you could see where it leaked he said he pulled into winston salem north carolina two old gentlemen sitting on the bench it's in the summertime said one of them said look at that, that antifreeze running out of that bottom of that bus the other one said no that's not antifreeze it's water one got up and went over and stuck his finger in it. Look, he said, that's antifreeze. <laughs> True story. <laughs> what are we doing now? <laughs> there stands a rose down in your garden. You left it there so all alone. It's been neglected. Beauty now is fastly fading Once it was a right of thread It's withering fast, its head is bowing There's no kind words to it are said Please don't neglect the road in your garden your love every day and it will bloom for you in all its beauty and it will not fade away
don't neglect a love that's true for it may prove to be the sweetest flower that will ever mean to you it could be your mother sister or brother husband wife a little child or it may be your own true lover you neglected all the while please don't neglect the road in your garden show it your love every day and it will bloom for you in all its beauty and it will not fade away and it will not fade away preacher got up about three sundays ago sunday morning just before everything was time to start he got up on the pulpit and said uh, how many of you have sinned I was looking at the bulletin. I wasn't paying no attention to him. I was about halfway back through the church looking at that bulletin. He said, Brother Tommy, have you not sinned? I said, no, not this morning. <laughs> he don't know how to take me at all. Blows his mind. That's all right. Then. What are we going to do next? 32 acres. Dead. I saw the timber for the cabin floor made a plank fence out of locust board work the corn row in the early morn raised a family on this poor man's farm 32 acres of bottom land bought and paid for with my own hand Worth a fortune to a working man. Thirty-two acres of bottom land. peach tree now the leaves are dying water the grapevine that's longer mine for the county's taken everything I own cause it's on the right of way for a four lane road 32 acres of bottom land bought and paid for with my own hand worth a fortune to a working man 32 acres of bottom land 32 acres of bottom land uh, I understood all the time at uh Elvis was big time on uh, records and movies and all those things. I understood that him and Farron Young were big friends. Farron Young was a great country singer. He, I saw an um, interview with Farron Young one time. Of course, he's been gone for some time. Saw the film, and he said that Elvis come to their house, and when he was trying to get started, he just first started on the road, him and them guys, that band he had, and run themselves wild. He said he'd come to his daddy's house to Farron's daddy's house and borrowed his car. He had a brand new Chrysler. He said he's going to bring it back in three days. He said he brought it back three months later during the night and left it. All four tires were slick as a ribbon. There wasn't a drop of gas in it when his daddy went out and got it the next month. But Elvis went on and made big time anyway, didn't he? Made a dollar too. What are we going to do? Uh... Here's a song I wrote and put together some time ago. Had enough wood left, I got on to make a, a guitar case. It's called Grow Where You're Planted. 
when G. In the Bible we are told how Joseph he was sold to a band of Ishmaelites that day. But God had plans for that lad to be a provider for his brothers and dad. And Joseph grew where he was planted. We must all grow where we are planted. Try to win souls wherever we go. When God lays his hand on you, he will lead you safely through. And we will grow where we are planted. jail there was no one to go their bail but they grew where they were planted and they told the jailer man you must be born again and they grew where they were planted we must all grow where we are planted try to win souls wherever we go when God lays his hand on you, he will lead you safely through, and we will grow where we are planted. For a son, and that's just what he done. And Sam, your grew where he was planted. And he told his works to Ken, You must be born again. And he grew where he was planted. We must all grow where we are planted. Try to win souls wherever we go. When God lays his hand on you, he will lead you safely through, and we will grow where we are planted, and we will grow where we are planted. Thank you so much. Give these pickers a big hand. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you, Tommy.
Get Barry up. Uh, uh, glad to have him back. Barry Miller.
Sit here alone on the banks of the river. The lonesome wind blows, the water rolls high. I hear a voice call out there in the darkness. Too lonesome to cry Oh, the water rolls high On the river at midnight I sit on the shore To weep and to cry of the river Sit there holding hands and making our vow Swore we never part be happy together But the new love she's found She's gone with him now Oh, the water rolls high On the river at midnight I sit on the shore To weep and to cry The woman I love This morning with no one to love or kiss me good night. He went over this. First time in 20 years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
the D, I guess. And uh, in our uh, some old day.
There's Mr. Jim Serber on there. That reminds me of a good story about a farmer. Y'all want to hear a quick story? Probably not. This is one Tommy passed on. There's this old farmer standing out in his field one day, and somebody brought him this letter. And he looked at it, and it was a, a letter from the IRS. He was being audited. And that old farmer just standing there said, what am I auditing me for? So it says right in here that you say most of your income comes from gambling. And so we just don't believe you're that good of a gambler, so we'd like for you to come on down to our uh, office down here, and we're going to audit you. He said, okay. Well, about a week later, he goes down to the auditor's office and shows up with his lawyer. Walks through the door there and got his bibbed overalls on, got his cattle boots on, got chew on the back and run down his mouth like all farmers do, and his glasses in his pocket. Sat there, and there's that auditor sitting there in his beautiful suit, you know, white shirt and tie and his beautiful desk and plush carpet and all that stuff. And uh, he says, Mr. Farmer, so we don't believe you make your money gambling, so you can't be that much of a gambler. That farmer says, well, you want to bet? So I'll, I'll bet you $1,000 that I can bite my eye. And that auditor looked at him and thought, there's no possible way he can bite his eye. So I'll just win me $1,000. He said, okay. And he just reached, took his glass eye out and put it in his mouth and bit down on it. <laughs> that auditor said, I ain't believing that. So sit here right in front of me. And he said, well, I'll tell you what, I'll bet you again. I'll bet you another $1,000 I can bite my other eye. That altar got thinking, now, wait a minute, he's not blind. I saw him sitting here looking at stuff just now. He read the paper, see? So I'll bet you, I'll bet you $1,000 you can't bite your other eye. He took his false teeth out and reached to burn bit his eye. And he said, Dave, that don't beat all our sauce. And maybe you are pretty good guy. He said, well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to give you a chance to win your money back. So you owe me $2,000. And I said, I'll I tell you what, I'll bet you $6,000 that I can take this tobacco and you stand right there and hold this cup. You'd been holding this little old cup, spitting it all the time. So you stand on the other side of your desk and hold that cup. And I can spit every bit of this tobacco right in that cup. I won't get one bit on your desk. I won't get any on your, you or none on your clothes or anything. And that altar looked at old man. He was pretty old. And he said, I don't even believe he can spit across the desk, much less get it all in that cup. He said, I'll bet you. And he said, if I win... I'll be four thousand dollars to the good one. He said, "Yeah, if you beat me, you will." So he said, "Okay, get over and hold that cup." And he got that cup and held it right up against his chest. That old farmer he chewed around there and at the back of running. He got a big guy. He spit and it went all over it. Went all over the desk. It hit the the altar in the face. Got all over his clothes and stuff, dripping on his glasses. That altar wiped him out there and then he got to giggling. He said, "Ha ha ha! You're not as good a gambler as you thought you was." said, you owe me $2,000. Anyway, that, the guy's lawyer had been sitting there being quiet this whole time. That auditor looked over and that lawyer just had his hands down his head and said, and he was shaking his head, said, what's the matter with you, Mr. Lawyer? So what's your problem? He said, well, it's a day gone before I come in here. Doggone farmer bet me $25,000. He could spit tobacco all over you and all over your desk and everything. <laughs> and said, I guess I lost. <laughs> so he was a pretty good gambler. <laughs> Oh, she's got a cup. <laughs> she's got a cup. Kleenex in it.
feel. Let's see. Can't get it started. Her fingers feel. There you go. Her fingers feel. With her hand. Sing that one. About not to get it. We done. We done now. Next week. And Halloween dress up. Uh, oh, is that right? Uh, next week is the birthday night, so uh, make your uh, favorite pastry, and also dress up for Halloween. Okay. Put on your costume. Thank y'all. She'll sing in this. She'll sing there. That's her picking mac. This is her singing. I think it's okay. Okay.
All I can tell you is I guess you get down on your knees or come in here and use this <laughs> when you get ready to pick a little. See how close I need to be? I'll use it too close. Kick it. Churches, and some will sweep the floor, 
But you know someone made the sandals Jesus wore Someone made the sandals Jesus wore They made them so his feet could not get so Do what you can do and he will never ask for more But you know someone made the sandals Jesus wore Things right, or light a little candle in the night. Maybe we'll lead a mighty army in the war. But you know, someone made the sandals Jesus wore. Someone made the sandals Jesus wore. They made them so his feet could not get so Do what you can do and he will never ask for more But you know someone made the sandals Jesus wore Someone made the sandals B flat. B flat. Takes me a minute here. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get on his knees. <laughs> <laughs> Just for me, it told me how much I was loved, sweet and tenderly. With a broken heart, I read each line. God's love for me, it was written by nail scarred hands at Calvary. Oh, how the soul love letter spoke to my heart and soul. I was captured by every word as I watched his love unfold. With a special care, he wrote it down for all eternity. It was written by Nels Cartan at Calvary. Stained with red, I am yours eternally. It's what the postscript said. I treasure my letter that he nailed upon the tree. My tear stains its pages every time I read. Oh, how the soul of letter spoke to my heart and soul. I was captured by every word as watched his love unfold. With a special care, he wrote it down. All eternity, it was written by nail scarred hands at Calvary. With a special care, he wrote it down for all eternity. It was written by nail scarred hands at Calvary. That's not me next, is it? Oh, not 
the rain. <laughs> Don't know what we'd do without our list. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Can't hear nothing. I was driving down the lonesome road one dark and stormy night when a little girl by the roadside showed up in my headline. I stopped and she got in the back and in a shaky tone she said my Mary, won't you take me home? Well, she must have been so frightened all alone there in the night. There was something strange about her. Her face was deadly white. She sat there in the back seat, all cold and all. I took Mary home I turned in at the driveway Where she told me to go Got out to help her from the car I opened up the door Back said it was bare. I looked all around the car, but Mary wasn't there. Well, a light shone from the front porch. Someone opened up the door. about the little girl I was looking for The lady gently smiled and she brushed a tear away She said it sure was nice of you to go out of your way But it was 13 years ago today Wreck just down the road Our darling Mary lost her life And oh we miss her so I thank you for your trouble sir The kindness you have shown But you're the thirteenth one that's been here Bringing We're good with one. We're good with one. You got another one? Yeah, you remember one. <coughs>
so good to be back home again. Not much left but the floor. Nothing lives here anymore except the memories of a cold miner's daughter. Except the memories of a cold miner's daughter. Thank you.
package. Well, I've come out of retirement. I don't know how long. They sent them gonna fall apart here. You better watch it. You be buying me that. I ain't buying this guitar. The straps twisted. Yeah, no. Somebody undo me. All right, now do do it back. There you go. Right. Ryan, you're the one that done that. No, I don't blame me now. You want to do Mary Ann, boys? Get the B chord. We're with you, buddy. B chord, all right. <laughs> Am I getting too close to the mic? to do walk and choose walk and choose boys. Make sure you can get that bass going 
Yeah. It rattles. That drives me crazy. Get here it, we go. Get it up here close. Go. 
no more. No, you can all know All right, one more. I was born in the Southland. I was born way down in the Southland. Give me some help, boys. Twenty some odd years ago, Lord. I ran away for the first time. When I was four years old, I'm a reborn man. Highway. Every foot of back road, every mile of railroad track. I got a gal in Cincinnati, got a woman in San Antonio. Always loved the girl next door, but any place is home. I'm a reborn man. My home's on my back. Yeah, no every inch of highway. Every foot of back road, every mile of railroad track.
seem sure to me back in a sergeant and a second player. Fifteen dollar wages at seven cents an hour. Thank you. How about a little bit of girl from West Virginia? All right, get the stew. <laughs> girl from West Virginia. Hang on, I All missed right. the string. <laughs> Somebody loves you, darling.
coming down the street He's going to bring a letter And he's headed straight for me Somebody loves you, darling Somebody loves you, I know Thank you. 
Thank you. How about an instrument in there? What do you got? Play something, uh, NR. NR, give us a. <laughs> All right, George. You're up, George. Play for Nando. Yeah, that's good. Greg, yeah, you want to kick Shandon or me? Yeah. Play Shandon, right there. Get up here. Get up there. He's worse than young now. Don't y'all y'all turn your head now. We have to take her belt off. <laughs> Come on here. No, you don't know. No, I messed up on that. You're not playing. Sing it. Get up here and sing it. I know it always messes up. It don't matter. Come on here. Yeah. What key? Each day I'll do a golden deed by helping those who are in need. My life on earth is but a span, and so I'll do the best I can. Last evening sun, last evening sun, is sinking low, is sinking low. A few more days, a few more days, and I must go, and I must go to meet the deed, to meet the deed that I have done, that I have done. Where there will be, where there will be no setting sun, no setting sun. While going down. While going I'll try to live some trouble so I'll try to 
turn the night, the night today. The night today. Make flowers bloom. Make flowers bloom along the way. Last evening sun, last evening sun, is sinking low, is sinking low. A few more days, a few more days. I must go, and I must go to meet the deed, to meet the deed that I have done, and I have done. Where there will be, where there will be no setting sun, no setting sun. I don't know no more songs, boys. What you got? Do that two different worlds. All right. What, I was going to do it for that woman. She left. Two different worlds. I don't know. That's now we live in two different worlds, dear That's why we're so far apart You made a world out of lies that were broken I built a world in my home Now everyone here tried to warn me Playing again. I told them all we were meant for each other. I said our worlds were the Come over to my world Oh, how my poor heart would pine Sweetheart, someday When your world is lonely Won't you come over to mine We live in two different worlds, dear That's why we're so far apart Saying good night. What? No, you're not. You're not saying. I don't know any more to sing. Hey. Oh, I'm thinking tonight of my blue eyes, who is sailing far over the sea.
both had we never In this land we get world that never met All the pleasures we both seen together Lord, I'm sure I'll never forget Oh, I'm thinking tonight of my blue eyes Who is seven far over the sea try to. God spoke to Moses at the burning bush. Well, God spoke to Moses. How fast you About medium. <laughs> <laughs> Moses at the burning bush, I am the Lord thy God. Take his shoes off, Moses, you're on holy ground. Holy ground, you're on holy ground. Take his shoes off, Moses, you're on holy ground. I am the Lord Oh, 
satisfied I can't help it if I'm still in love with you A picture from the past came slowly stealing As I brushed your arm, stood so close to you enjoyed my singing tonight. If you didn't throw something at Brian, he's the one who got me over here. <laughs> Let's give it up for a living legend, Ted Trivett. Yeah. Done a good job. <laughs> there he is. Grand old All right, Steve, how about a fiddle tune? How about a little bit of Mississippi? Sorry, we done that in a while? You do.
job. I tell you what, if that don't make you feel good, you need a shot of Hattie Call. Y'all remember Hattie Call? <laughs> Can you see? Here we go. Still got one. How much? See? See? What's the first word on that? Small time. The wind. The wind is blowing across the mountain. Not on the valley, way below. Where you at? See? I get my road. Do a little bit of my road tune here. Try to.
See right there and see. Where are you going now? See? See and see. Yeah. Well, the first small town that I was in, the county was hanging a man. Nobody cared if he lived or died. I just didn't understand. So I washed my face in the morning. As Red Scout used to say. Thank you all. Thank you all. Well, I guess that's about it for tonight. It's been a good one. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for playing. Oh, I think Brian has got some CDs to sell. If you're in, uh, ten dollars a piece. If you're interested. Thank you. Y'all have a safe trip home and good night.